no longer going to Bulgaria. Oh, shit. Look at this. This is actually a life-size picture of my face. Oh, it's tragic. So I took it down and it's come with me everywhere. Oh. Oh. This is as exciting as my wedding yet. Cut has become a little bit 60, 70. The diet life, it gets a bit like this. Hello, what is going on? Oh, I've let him turn my mic. Oh my god, I actually did. Good morning. What's going on? Welcome back to another video. As of about 24 hours ago, no longer going to Bulgaria. So today is Thursday. I was meant to be leaving tomorrow. Um, plans change. Change plans. So I'm no longer doing that, which means we are on track for Belgium in about two weeks for 67. Right, of course, this morning is going to start with a coffee. So I'm going to make a coffee, head to training, and then what am I going to do? Take you along for the day. We're going again. If she knew that one was going to splash everywhere though, to my tank is terrible. Don't judge the shot. It's not ideal. All of my little coffee grounds as well, I collect in this pot and then tip them into a big bag and give to my friend's mum who composts them and uses them in her allotment at home. I don't waste any of these grounds. They go to harvesting vegetables. I just woke up and I still haven't done my hair. I've done my face, like my face is alright, but I haven't done my hair yet. I mean, it doesn't really look much different to what it is now. Maybe just a little bit neater. Next up, I'm having... This fit is tragic as well, to give in, um, teenager. Anyway, so now, because I'm making 67, the cut has become a little bit 60, 70. So for the last couple of weeks, I've eaten the same monotonous stuff every day. And that usually consists of a scoop of whey. I use the Inform Sport range from my if you want to get some link in the description below as always <coughs> oh my gosh i've been having a scoop of whey water first i nearly made that crucial error one scoop of whey vanilla matcha into my water bottle water first guys because otherwise you'll have a mixing nightmare where are we at where are we at one scoop 117 calories 25 grams of protein 2.6 grams of carbs so very low carb depends on what training session i have after this it's usually kicking i might have an apple with this i might have banana today's a day where i'm kind of unsure on what session i'm doing so i'll just have the way i mean i always need the carbs but i mean a diet life it gets a bit like this an espresso all right that's me uh i'm gonna take an apple or a banana to lunch so I either have the apple or banana with this, or I have it at lunch before my second session. Depends how flagging I am. I'm not usually hungry in the morning. As long as I have my coffee, I'm fine till about five, six o'clock. I don't recommend this, this is just what I do. We are on very low calorie, we are thriving. I'm gonna go and kick, and then catch up with you for lunch. I might film my kick and I might not, depends on what the vibe is, we will see. If you want any protein, I'll link it in the description below. Use my code LaurenTKD and you'll get up to 47% off, I think it is, the entire website. Clothes, supplements, nutrition, I'll catch you in a bit. So long as well, we've not had a lounge. And when I say lounge, I mean now we've got a little setup going on. I'm gonna sort the hair in a second. Now's not the time to sort the hair. I've currently got Matt Diavella on telly because I'm obsessed with his videos at the minute and his minimalism and approach to life. Oh my God, I can't silent you. My battery's dying in my controller and I have not got the energy to go and change them. So I have to sit here like this. Got it. Okay, we live in athlete accommodation. We have not had a lounge in this house for years. There's been a single bed down here, like five tables, I'm not even joking, that have a couch full of boxes. It's just been an unorganized mess. So we've just been chilling in the kitchen. That or our bedrooms, it's rather bizarre. That's also a giant picture of my face. There's a story behind this and this has traveled with me. I hated it that much that I took it off the wall in the office. So in our offices at 10 Acres, we have these pictures or of similar on the walls. I hated mine that much, I took it down. But I didn't want to get rid of it, rid of it, because it's quite cool, isn't it? I've had 10 house booths in my lifetime. I'm 23, I've moved house 10 times. This has come with me six times. It's moved to six houses. Look at this. That's also a giant picture of my face. Mate, hey, I'm sorry, but this is actually a life-size picture of my face. And it was on the wall in the office. It's from the Euros in 20, I don't know, it says somewhere. I was 17 and I looked terrible. Somebody tell me what that hairstyle was. I mean, it's not much different now, just without the little 
fans on the side, but oh, it's tragic. So I took it down and it's come with me everywhere. So now it lives in the athlete housing with us and it's a nice reminder of my little, I don't know, glow up, you could call it. God, I don't know what I was thinking. That kind of lives there rent free. We kind of don't speak about it or do anything with it until it's time to move house again. Anyway, the point of this conversation was, we've not had a living room for ages. Now I've sorted it out and made it a little bit cozy. We have somewhere to chill and it actually feels like a little bit of a home now. So this is fun. But yeah, I'm gonna chill in here for a little bit uh, while I can. Feel a bit more like a normal person for a little while. And then go and kick people, right. Done, I am, of course. Oh. Oh, oh, so tired I am. I'm now gonna do a run because I've just finished my kicking session this morning. Very sweaty, very good session to be fair. Didn't expect to do that, all right. And now we're gonna go run in. So I'm gonna do half an hour on the treadmill. And then I've got kicking again, but kicking conditioning, which is the disgusting session at one or two. I'm waiting for my coach to text me, so about an hour, hour and a half break, and then we go again. And then I'll run again after it. So we've got busy day, we've got busy, busy. I feel good. I've got energy. It's crazy what a little rest day does for you. And yeah, very productive session. Do I film the run? No, I don't film the run. I'm literally just running on a treadmill. Like, I don't know what's exciting about that. So, I probably won't film that. But I might film my condition this afternoon. So, get excited. I'm going to feel a jog. I'll see you in a mo. I mean, for those of you that actually like pay attention and want to know what I do, this is as exciting as my running gear. I don't know if you can actually see the thumbs up. My heart rate stays between like 130 and 150, yeah? keeping in that kind of green zone. And then it's an exercise I can basically sustain for an hour or more. I could kind of do this all day long. And that's literally what I do. So that's it. Nothing exciting, quite boring. I tend to stick a podcast on or music, whatever I'm feeling, whatever I'm vibing. This tends to get a bit boring, so I switch it up. I get very bored very easily. So I watch fights. I might even like switch between doing this for 10 minutes and then a bike for 10 minutes then back on this for 10 minutes whatever anything to just keep my mind occupied but as long as i get in an hour in that kind of zone i'm happy i'm gonna crack on with that i'm not gonna film it because it's really not exciting it's just me running on the treadmill i'll catch up with you a bit later I've just finished up my kick and conditioning and I'm gonna go into the SNC gym and do the rest of my 
steady state condition. I did half an hour earlier, but I'm gonna go and do the rest, like the other half an hour now. Just because I didn't want to make myself too tired about kicking, so I'm drained. I'll catch up with you later. I'm gonna go finish off this conditioning. Um, right, I'm done. I'm finished. I've just finished up my steady state on the bike. So I've done two steady state sessions today. I tried to explain it earlier, but I'm so tired. Two steady state, half an hour earlier after this morning session, and that was in the green zone. And then I did half an hour after my last session in the blue zone, just to bring my heart rate down and just recover a bit. Now I'm going to jump in that hot bath behind me for 20 minutes, really maximise my recovery today because I'm proper feeling it. If for lunch, I forgot to tell you, but I just had two eggs and some sweet chilli sauce, which I vlogged in my fitness pal, and I'm on about pff, a whopping 400 calories today, so no, actually, it won't even be that. Who cares, who cares, but I'm thriving anyway. I've got plenty of energy, um, running off fat and caffeine, which is fantastic. Tonight I'm gonna have mm, maybe steak and some veg. I don't know, we'll see. But for now, I'm gonna just hop in there, relax for a little bit, and catch you in a bit. Do you know what? Actually, that conditioning session felt surprisingly good. So, although I'm injured, I can still do a lot of stuff, and this is where adapting comes in and improvising comes in. So, I was able to do that same conditioning session as I've done before. If you want to see that session, I posted it in my last video. I didn't post the whole session, obviously. I have repeated the session today just a bit more controlled and I got the same value out of it I felt just as tired but I felt good got good value yeah my coach was happy with how I did it so we're all good today was did not go to plan at all so what I planned to do at the start of the day just didn't happen that just was not the day but I've banked like three really good sessions I uh, got through it and yeah I'm just happy I don't know I just feel really productive and happy which is great I'm in a great place uh two weeks to go two weeks to go hopefully oh, we're in I've done the disgusting thing and left my heart rate on on accident it's a good job I've been here for 10 seconds and that's it I also left my headphones on I've just noticed I'm gonna zen out listen to a youtube video probably have a nap vibe really this is it there are bubbles in this thing but I just choose not to bother because I can't bother taking this out extra effort at this stage that I feel like just doesn't, it doesn't need to be done. I also don't know if this aura ring is waterproof. I need to Google this because I'm gonna ruin it otherwise and I just want to find it out. I'm gonna have a nap. I'm gonna have a nap. I'm gonna catch up with you. 